fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. as a cult thing. We'll find out why it's a cult uh, as he comes in and tells us. Jonathan Coleman, here he is. Okay, at ease, guys. We're on a mission from God. Remember that, okay? Just at ease. That's out of the movie, that We're on a mission from God. Just uh, pull up a... God, I don't know if I can go this low. No. Oh. I don't know whether we can talk with these guys here. Are they? Oh, that's all... okay. Just, uh, just relax. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, boy, have they seen the movie? <laughs> They've seen the movie a number of times, and there's a couple of girls actually, it's blues persons. <laughs> We're not actually. That's the uh, lighter from the car. Yes, yes. No I... problem. Oh, they'll be taking to that with the sledgehammers later on. Right? Thank you very this much. This is uh, Aussie blues brother. He's Aussie. into it too. I yep, didn't yep, know. That. Yep. <laughs> um, isn't that uh, it's neat, isn't it? It but is. Uh, what, what, is this a big cult thing in America or is it just here? It's, um, is it just you? Is no, it? no, no, it's them as well. In fact, it's, it's a huge cult movie all over Australia. It's not one of those movies like, there's a lot of hype attached with so many movies like Flashdance and all mm. those sort of nice clean movies, but a movie like The Blues Brothers. Yeah, it's a pretty rotten movie, wasn't no, it? No, no, it's a fantastic movie. I mean, it's some good, very funny parts. I mean, it? it's very hard to describe this movie. It was directed by John Landis, who directed uh, Animal House and uh, or the Kentucky Fried movie, all those sorts mm. of things. It's got music, it's got stunts, it's got girls, it's got music and stunts and girls and trucks and police cars and music them, and stunts, stunts and girls. girls. Yeah. And guys, of course, I'm not a sexist, but yeah. uh, uh, it's it, $27 million to make the film. And when it first came out, they sort of went, you know, in America it was a big hit, but in Australia it's just starting to happen. Now it's basically mm. replaced uh, Rocky Horror Show. Would you like to see a few bits out of the film? Why, why not? Yeah. Just we'll have, see just we, have a look for yourself. See if we can really get into it. Get into it. Really a mission good. from God. Yeah. Out of this parking lot? Okay. Would there be anything else? Yes. Do you have a Miss Piggy? almost nine o'clock. We've got to go to work. How many cars did they? Uh... Over over seventy over, over seventy police cars were actually destroyed during the movie, and there was thirteen bluesmobiles. This is what the uh, the blues people here are actually just sitting to, on. Just spread just... a bit, guys. We, is that in the movie? That spread a bit. Term, uh... Spread a bit. Spread it. Spread Bend bit. over and spread a bit. Uh, there. Right. And <laughs> so the, and th that's the uh, that's the, oh well. To serve them. Oh look, that's great, isn't we it? We can't see a sea of people, ladies and gentlemen. 
a see? relative seat. Uh, but that's the bluesmobile that uh, appears in the in the film. Well, not exactly that one, but that's the one from the Valhalla down here in Melbourne. And it's uh, it's doing amazing business all around Australia. Yeah. In fact, here is uh, this is a gold record of the of the album, right? Which um, has gone gold in Australia. It's the first yeah. place in the world it's gone gold outside of America. Do we have a bit? Uh, that actually looked like you in the movie. Is that why you're so taken with it? Because I well, can see you doing flips and all that sort Ricky of thing. May, Ricky May, Ricky May, and myself are actually getting together an Australian kind of Blues Brothers band. Because one thing about this film yeah. is it could it could never happen again. Because John, John Belushi's dead, unfortunately. Right. He died of a of a, a drug overdose, um, which was there's still a lot of questions being asked how it happened and yeah. everything. But um, uh, Ricky May and myself are hopefully uh, going to get a seven piece band together and do like a tribute to the. Blues Brothers. Well, we've got you arriving at yes, this movie I, in Sydney. Yeah, I did some uh, some stuff at uh, the uh, the cinema, the Orpheum, the Cremorne Orpheum in Sydney, where it plays to packed houses. Also plays to packed houses here in Melbourne at the uh, Valhalla, all over Australia. All right. Take a look at some of the weird people that go in Sydney. I have seen it a lot. A lot. Obviously. A lot. Can I find that bit of music? How many times have you actually seen the film? Oh, well over 10,000 times. How many times do you reckon you've seen the film? Somewhere between 50 and 2,000. Oh, Blues Brothers. Blues the Brothers. Blues Brothers, a film, isn't it? Fantastic, the great stunts and cars and crashes. How'd you like it? What's the Blues Brothers? We, we came to some Tootsie. <laughs> well, what do you reckon so great about this movie? Just everything. It's just fantastic, you know? I just love it. It's incredible. I basically, I mean, the thing with me is that I thought it was such an unbelievable film. It's almost as good as Dr. Zhivago. It really? Yeah, yeah, almost as good. Really I noticed that as we showed bits of that, all these guys, you all know the word, the, the dialogue, the whole lot. It's like know. Rocky Horror. I mean, it's sort of replaced Rocky Horror Picture Show as a sort of huge cult movie all yeah. around the world. Well, if we can go back to any of the music, I notice the guys wanting to have a bit of a bop. I don't know yeah. if we can spill back and get some of that, uh, that music. Well, we actually do have to be going pretty soon because, uh, guys, we are... On a mission from God. Yeah, oh, that's as good a tag. <laughs> oh, no.